morning, Rancho. Sean Gordon here, your host, and I am at the Palatial Mariners Travel here at uh, this is the Pavilion Center. This is Plaza Antonio. Antonio. And yeah. I am with Lawrence Simon, aka Mr. Europe, good. I understand. That's right, Sean. Good morning. Good morning. And so we are, this is a travel agency. It is a very rare thing these days. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like all yeah. of the travel agents I used as a business have disappeared. And I moved here in 98, and this has been here since I moved here. It used to be a cigar shop next door. Oh, really? Didn't know that. Oh, so you missed it, even yeah. as long as you've been here. <laughs> I've uh, been in the area for many, many years, but I've owned the agency for 29 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but you weren't in this spot when you So the, the agency? agency was originally here when the center was built. Uh -huh. I had another agency in Mission Viejo, and then that office merged in here. Oh, okay. Um, about 19 years ago now. Okay. Yeah. So, in terms of travel agents, like I like them myself as opposed to say like Travelocity because I get tired of hunting. Did I get the best deal or not? Right. And why don't I just talk to a professional? And so it's fortunately I haven't had to really plan a trip in a while, <laughs> but that might change well, it's time. after we talk. Let's yeah. get it going. Um, so what what would be some of the advantages for somebody to use you over like a Travelocity? Um, well, to be honest, we get a lot of people who use those online sites mm -hmm. that come to us to help try and fix a problem. <laughs> um, we're human beings. Mm -hmm. We're easy accessible. We stand behind you. We're, we're your advocate. So okay. if something goes wrong, you don't pay us anything extra. Okay. So you, we're your advocate. If, if God forbid, something does go wrong, we, we're there for you. So we're your middleman. We also belong to a national account okay. company. And we have um, all kinds of special deals and promotions that make us look larger than we are so we oh, can compete okay. with those companies. Okay. Plus, it's the personal service and it, it's the TLC. And, and one more thing, I know I'm a yakka, but um, <laughs> the ma one of the main reasons people use us, we ask them all the time, mm -hmm. is when something has gone wrong, we fix it for them. Which is nice. Even when they're overseas. Oh, really? So it's nice to know. I've, I just helped some clients yesterday that had an issue. Not anything I did, fortunately. <laughs> we fixed it. And, you know, so I think that's part of it. And why not just use somebody who may have the knowledge and is local yeah. and can help you? We've sustained a lot of things, just like you said. Agencies have gone out of business. Yeah. They're not around anymore. We're, yeah. we're sort of a dying breed. But as I say, the ones that are left are, are, are the good ones and the strong ones and... I think they know what they're doing. Well, it's impressive that you have weathered that and you're well, still thank you. here. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. So would you say um, using a, a service like yours makes more sense for vacation travel or business travel, casual travel? Me personally, I've done all aspects of travel over the years. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big, huge um, proponent of the business travel market. It's not really our segment. I have some clients that I do business travel for, but okay. for us, we're probably 95% what the, in our business we call Americans say leisure, or in Britain would say leisure. Leisure. And yes, and you know we we that's our primary focus. Uh, we we do a lot of group travel here, okay. a lot of incentive, gift, family. For for me, obviously, uh, being from England, I do a ton of Europe business. So uh, you know that that's what sustains us. So uh, you you are Mr. Europe. We talked a little yeah. earlier about like uh, riverboat travel, which sounds fascinating yes. to me because yes. like my wife's never been out of the country, and we've been talking about what would make sense to kind of get a, a flavor yeah. of a lot of things right. easily. Um, so maybe give us a little bit of information. So about river that. cruising is probably in our our genre of travel. It's it's sort of the hot ticket these days. Um, I went on my first one a few years ago. I've now been on eight of them. Wow. I'm going on two next year. You can tell I like them. <laughs> um, for me, it's a meet the people okay. type vacation. It's very intimate. You know, being from Europe, I've been all over Europe many times. But I've never been to some of these places where river cruises hit, nor did I know there was such history there mm. and such magnificent beauty there so it's a real intimate way of seeing things you know you stop along the river bike some cruises have bikes you can bike oh, along really? the riverbank you can take a tour by bike you can just stroll and walk into town and have a breakfast and a beer and you meet the people and so it's very intimate there's never more than 160 to 190 people on board so it's very so personal different than like a pacific princess go to ensenada get off 
It's intimate. It's, yeah, that, that sounds really and cool. And it, it's 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 just a beautiful way to see the world. What would you say? And we've got to wrap up pretty yes. quick. Would be the the number one sort of hidden treasure on a river cruise location. For me, it was probably Eastern Europe. I was going to ask. Eastern yes, Europe. it just surprised me. I, I am Jewish, mm -hmm. and there's just a ton of history there. And I can tell you a great experience, which I know we don't have time for on camera. They can, someone can call and ask me and I'll tell them. True story. Ooh, a but surprise. The, true story. Call me and ask me. It's, it just, it makes me emotional every time I tell it. Oh. But the, the history is something else, you know. Mm. Um, real quick, two synagogues in Europe that were saved by him himself. You know, that yeah. not nice person who I don't like talking about. Right, right. Who ran the Germans many years ago. Yeah. But he saved Prague and Budapest synagogues because he loved the artwork really? and the windows and they were saved and they are still in their original existence. So wow. the magnificence and beauty of, of Eastern Europe will shock you. Yeah, it I shocked me. But Can I just say before you, we wrap? No, we're all done. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so we're, we're, this is just an opportunity to say that, that December 16th, we're, we're going to be moving. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've been in this location for, like I said, since the center was built. But December 16th, we moved less than a mile away on Esperanza. Okay. Uh, it's a bigger office. Um, I have a private office because some people say I talk too loud. But that's Heaven okay. forbid. Oh my God. But, oh, now I'm being looked at by the girls. Um, but anyway, hey, thank you. Um, so we're excited about it. So we'd love you to come and see us in our new location. And oh, we'll, fabulous. More details coming. Okay. Uh, if you've got the address, we can add it to the whole. 30376 Esperanza, Suite 200, still in beautiful Rancho. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I've walked by this. We place hear that all the time. A, a million times. We so come in and see us. Yeah, absolutely. Come in. It's a great place. They've got also a lot of really cool ideas. I think I'm going to do a river cruise maybe you uh, should. next summer. Fabulous. And so, Rancho, thanks for tuning in. Follow us, share, subscribe, like, um, all of the shebang that we got. Uh, Patreon, you can support us as well. And we will see you next time. Cheers. All right, there we go.